This is a look at my Beofeng DM860. Features in a couple of my videos. And if you've seen uh, anything on my channel, you may have seen this transceiver before. There's not an awful lot on the internet about this, and I thought it was worth taking a slightly closer look at it. Um, you will also see these transceivers advertised as a DM1801s, 1801s. Basically the same transceiver, or in fact they're exactly the same transceiver. There may be some very slight differences in firmware, but whether you see an 860 or an 1801, the software, CPS software and the code plugs therefore are exactly the same, and the physical characteristics and electronic characteristics of the re of the receiver and transceiver are the same. Uh, there may be one or two very slight firmware differences, but the code plugs, batteries, all the accessories are totally interchangeable. Now, if you look at this uh, Bay of Feng, this is my own one. I've had it for about 18 months now, and it's my go-to rig. It gets used most days. It's been dropped and thrown around, and it's survived. It's quite well made. They're quite robust. And um, I actually get very good reports with this rig on uh, 2 meters and 70 centimeters FM as well as on DMR, it works well on DMR. If you're familiar with the Radio Oddity GD77, you'll see it's very similar in appearance, and here's a GD77. There's some slight differences. They're very, very similar transceivers. The batteries are interchangeable. So if we take the battery from this BFM, like that, and we take the GD77 battery, okay, we can swap them around quite easily. Just slide in there and GD77 works with the Beofeng battery and the Beofeng works similarly with the GD77 battery. Now my GD77 has been upgraded with the open firmware and I'll do a little bit about that in a future video because that absolutely transforms the transceiver, makes it much more usable, it's much better for amateur radio purposes. Um, if I just flick to the menu and uh, we can see uh, these are some of the talk groups I've got programmed into this particular transceiver. But we'll just take a look at the display and how the display appears and um, this firmware makes the transceiver much more versatile. Let's have a look at a standard one without the upgraded firmware so you'll actually see the difference in the display when we do that. I'll just turn that off. And we'll bring one here that's still in the box. Here's one. <coughs> This is identical in every way to my own. You will see them there. Okay. This one, interestingly, you switch it on, and I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Perhaps and perhaps not. But this is a DM1801. As I said, it's absolutely identical in every way. This one is out of the box. It's using the standard Beofeng firmware. It, nothing been programmed into it yet um, so if we can go through it's just on the standard menu so this needs programming programming lead for these handies is not the same as the GD77 the radio oddity programming lead doesn't work with these um, these use the same programming lead as the Baofeng RD5R or the Baofeng DM5R it's the same lead. The code plugs uh, between the Bofeng and the Radio Oddity here, although they're similar running the standard firmware, they're not interchangeable. So they are unique to the 1801 and the 860, uh, but they can't be used with the GD77. And the other major advantage of the open GD77 and open DM1801 firmware is that the code plugs then become interchangeable. You can use the same programming on one of these 
as one of these. So that's well worth looking at. But as they stand, and when I first had mine, um, I used it on the standard firmware for over a year. These are very nice little transceivers. They work well. They're worth having just as a, an FM only. Two meters and seventy sems. Build quality is good. Battery life is good. Uh, we'll see. This one is a eighteen oh one DM eighteen oh one. And this one, I'll take the battery off, and it should be able to see if I lift the belt clip, that's a DM860. But they're absolutely identical, again the battery's interchangeable between them. And these, the last time I checked, these were available for um, under 50 UK pounds. Um, in fact I had two of these for... I think they worked out at about £45 each. So for that price, as an introduction to DMR, just as they are, without messing with the firmware, just using them as they come from the factory, they're a good solid rig. I'll show you in the next video the Open GD77 Open DM1801 firmware, and you will see that it makes a, a good rig into an excellent rig. And for the money, these things are hard to beat. Um, they're robust. They're simple to operate. They offer a good battery life. And at forty-five pounds, fifty UK pounds, you can carry one of these around. Um, if you happen to be unlucky enough to drop it and damage it, well, it's better than dropping and damaging a two hundred pound transceiver. That's the way I look at it. So I hope this has been a useful introduction. You don't often see these advertised other than on um, some of the Chinese um, retail websites. I don't know of any UK retailers that sell these. Um, and really, I don't actually know of anyone that sells a GD77 at the moment in the UK. Um, GD77 is a little more expensive normally than the Beofeng. Um, and to be quite frank, having used both of them, I don't see any difference in performance and particularly when you modify the firmware then um, they're pretty much identical so I hope this has been a useful quick look um, as I say there's not much online about these and they're actually very nice um, little units so in the next video I'll show you a little bit about how to improve these with the upgraded firmware thank you for watching